Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at manufacturing and the current state of manufacturing, which either is in a bit of a recession at the moment and all in all I've stopped production for the time being and that is largely due to the fact that it is quite hard at the moment to find decent good manufacturing opportunities in the market. So on a semi-regular basis I have a look through the BPs, O's and that that I have just to look for stuff for manufacturing. And if we look at the deflection shield here, if we take a quick look at the manufacturing cost, we've got 43.5 thousand ISK. And at present they are selling at 40.6 thousand ISK. So without even taking the installation cost into the equation there, I am going to be losing ISK by manufacturing that item. So let's not do that. Next, yeah, we're just looking at Tech 2 components for this little bit. So 26.7, not including installation. 26.7, 26.7. So by the time I've put that on the market in regards to taxes, etc., I'm pretty much breaking even. Long term trend seems to be going down anyway. And this isn't out of the ordinary so let's have a quick look at a ship bpo 16.4 million to manufacturer 16.4 so take tax into account without installation cost and again i'm lucky if i'm going to break even with this and that is on a trend that is trending upwards now it's no secret that EVE is obviously going through some turbulent times with um, mineral distribution or redistribution or scarcity or whatever you want to call it. And I don't know whether this is having an effect on the manufacturing but personally I reckon one of the biggest effects that has been is when they introduced Citadels they really messed up with... Um, uh, reprocessing basically reprocessing you could reprocess an item for I think it was about 95% of its um, its minerals or its um, component parts so it was either 95 or 90 with skills etc so it was pretty high and that basically meant that items couldn't generally fall much below their build cost because you could if they did people would buy them and reprocess and then be able to sell the component parts, which always gave items a base that they could get to. Now, obviously, with, with reprocessing changed, I'm not 100% sure on the max that you can get. I think it's somewhere in the region of, was it 68%? Now, again, I'm not 100% sure. If anyone actually knows the, the best reprocessing figure that you can get, then please bang it in the comments. I'd love to know it. And this basically kept the, the market relatively healthy because, again, if it dropped down to the base, people would buy it, reprocess, sell it. And you wouldn't get to this point where we have now where people are building stuff and just trying to sell it. So, so the Maelstrom is a great example of this. So without even taking in the account of the BPC or whatever. So the current build cost for a Maelstrom from the minerals bought in Jitter is 298 million ISK. The installation cost is in the region of 20 million. But oops, let's have an actual look to make sure we're spot on. In fact, we'll do perimeter. In fact, no, we'll keep it Jitter. Make it easy. So it's 23 million ISK to install, and if we take one of the cheaper, it's 5 million ISK. So basically we're looking just over the 300 million ISK mark. Now if we go to the market, we can see them selling for 209 million ISK. That is insane. That is 100 million ISK cheaper than it is to manufacture. So... As a producer, you can't compete with people producing these items at an absurdly low price. Again, it, it just can't be done. It, it doesn't. You can literally mine these yourself. It almost costs you the same amount in installation cost as it does in the bloody production cost. So, 
Whether this will change in the near future, I don't know from this point, but it is, and it is discouraging for a lot of people that do get into manufacturing because again, it, it comes to this pure frustration that you can't build anything because you just can't make any ISK. And that's not to say that there is no items that can make ISK at the moment. Again, I've just, where are we? I have just built eight Kikimoras, which again, I'll be making, I will be making a huge amount of ISK, but again, for attack one item, it's pretty decent for the, um, the price that you're paying for it. So there is ISK to be made, but it is few and far between at the moment. And again, for anybody that's getting in to manufacturing, I do understand people's frustration. And it's something I think CCP really should look into. And just general destruction doesn't or isn't going to... Yes, obviously destruction helps. It's the life cycle. But again, it comes back down to the reprocessing. And if people... Again, what can I do? I can't. If I can't make the ISK by buying up the stock, then I can't. I have no effect on the overall outcome other than constantly buying up items that are being produced below what I think they should cost. So, here we've got. Yeah, there's not many, but again, you, you're going to have to have billions of ISK in order to do it. And that still doesn't stop more people coming in and just producing again under what I would want to be selling it for so yeah the frustration is there and I can understand why people do get frustrated with this because well you know you get into manufacturing you train all these skills up you get there 45 43 so yeah break even again you, you, it's it's very hard to make any kind of isk and this isn't just on tech one so 9.7 6.8 7 now these obviously don't sell very many but again they're still being sold in jitter below build cost and this isn't just with tech one stuff this is also crossing over to tech two so if we take the 220 mil artillery here it will cost us 1.0.79 so build installation we're looking at 1.1 yeah 1.1 and they are selling pretty much 1.7 if I take into account the um, invention cost which is another 100 K for 10 so another 10 K per unit again I'm lucky if I'm breaking even so as I said Eve is going through an, a turbulent time at the moment now obviously with a lot of ways of making ISK being made harder this is having a deflationary effect on Eve and items in general and obviously with scarcity as well that's probably compounding the problem so there is a lot of pressure or downward pressure on items at the moment although I say some have spiked even recently but that pressure is real and people are slowly feeling the pinch so this could be some extent to why but you will always get people that are willing to mine for nothing for free to sell their stuff way below just so they can get rid of it just because you know it's a game at the end of the day and they're having fun doing whatever it is they're doing but anybody that wants to do market stuff I won't say properly, although I want to. I want to make a profit from market stuff with doing the manufacturing part, buying the items, etc., and not having to either mine all the stuff yourself or literally go right back down to moon materials in order to be able to eke out a bit of profit. Then, you know, it stifles the market and it stifles people coming in, and that frustrates people. And that, again, isn't great for a player base. Nobody wants to be... Didn't I just deliver all these? Am I going nuts? Yeah, there we go. So that just stifles the people coming in to do it. And, you know, for, for good reason that people get frustrated. They see it and it's like, well, how on earth am I going to make ISK when people... How, how are people selling Maelstroms for 100 million ISK less than what they cost to build? 
and that goes across the board. So, again, not a great example because you don't really get a great selection of capital parts in Jitter, but let's have a look at the Charion. So, 200, 2 billion, sorry, to make, and we're not even going to include installation costs, so 2 billion to make, and say for 1.8 billion ISK. So, yeah, the way that I would like to see is I would like to see some better reprocessing brought back into the game in order to try and combat this. And again, if people then want to sell up below the re, um, recycling, re, um, reprocessing cost, then great. But other people can then buy it up and resell it or use the minerals and put it into some more production, do something actually useful with it. And that stops this race to the bottom as so in regards to costs for items that again is just annoyingly frustrating and yeah but I can't see any other way around it and again this is happening with all items going across um, let's have a quick check 94 million 94 so decent amount of there, so 94, 94, 114, 128, 14. Yeah, so some profit to be made there. Installation cost is relatively low for the Triglavian ships, so that's not so bad. But again, we've got, let's have a look at the capacitor here. So although this isn't max it's nine so it's let's give them the benefit of the doubt and actually put it to nine i don't think it makes a huge amount of difference but let's have a look so 43.73 so 44.7 44.6 so again yeah it's costing exactly what it is to make and this is at an all-time high so wow yeah, the frustration is real. So at the time being, I'm not actually manufacturing a great deal at the moment. I've pulled out of manufacturing pretty much completely. Or, yeah, completely at the moment. I have got very few things going on in regards to any kind of manufacturing, which is a bit frustrating because I do enjoy manufacturing. I do enjoy producing the items, trying to get it sold, etc. But at the moment, just trying to get it done is a bit of a nightmare due to the fact that, yeah, so I say the vast majority of things are under build cost at the moment. So have another check. So 58. Hmm, that's not bad. <laughs> but uh, again, you can't just find these items. So I have to look into them. I've got quite a few of them to use up. But yeah, so that's my current rant at the moment and why I'm not currently in manufacturing now as i said for the kikis and other bits and bobs there are is there is is still to be made in specific or very niche areas but again the vast majority of tech one at the moment does seem relatively unprofitable and until this changes yeah who knows but maybe it will maybe there's more people mining for free and using the minerals in production than there are people actually losing ships etc so you know who knows if it will ever recover um, but I will cover that in my next video in regards to other ways that CCP can potentially look into this and change things up to cause more destruction really so thank you for listening thanks for dropping by and I'll speak to you again soon